Hey, what's up guys? DeekRelaxShacks.com. You know, every once in a while we do guest videos here on the RelaxShacks.com channel, and this is one of those times. Hey guys, Chris the Capable Carpenter. Crazy world going on right now, and uh, I had a obligation to come back to the treehouse, and I had planned on doing it next week, and I went ahead and jumped on it to kind of tie it up, make sure it was structurally sound, and make sure it was sealed up. And uh, this episode, I'm not going to be doing any background music, any anthems. I'm just going to listen to this gorgeous stream. Uh, you'll be able to hear it in the background the whole time. That's one of the reasons this place is so special. Um, the name of this land is Dragon Hollow. Um, by Fen, the owner, and it's a really special place. So I hope you'll enjoy this tour updated of Fen's treehouse and uh, how gorgeous the spot is. And this spring right here, it's actually three springs that come together. Uh, they all seep out of the ground in this valley. And she said that even at its driest, it was 40 gallons a minute, which is amazing. They've had it tested. They can drink from it. Um, they still filter uh, the water, but how gorgeous is that? Also, my thought was to put either a cistern or a barrel and some gravel and eventually pipe cold water. This is the infamous hot tub. So I soaked in this the first time uh, when we did the workshop and Uncle Mud surprised me, who's a genius with cob and mud building. He did a demo, uh, touched up my hot tub, but now in about three hours, it is the perfect temperature. Uh, so a small fire with all that insulation and all that cob on there. So it was great. Like I said, eventually it'd be awesome to have a cold water uh, intake because this thing just never dries up this beautiful spring. So here she is. The peregrine nest is the tentative name. So I've been calling this a tree house over and over and over again. It's not attached to any trees and it's still a tree house. I don't really care what you think about that. Um, it's up in the trees. Uh, Fen is very connected to this property and she felt that she didn't want to attach to any trees uh, as an, uh, a foundation. And where she wanted it, I also agreed because uh, there weren't any trees that really would have worked with how we wanted it positioned for privacy, for view. Um, but I'm happy with it. Um, it came out great. All right, so if you saw the first tour of Fen's Treehouse, the appearance hasn't changed much, um, but I'll go over kind of the plan for things. So again, we're talking about the nest Fen has already started to harvest and wrap some grapevine around the handrails. And I took a lot of scraps and just torched them just for a look. And then we ran, uh, wrapped the windows. I took some cedar that I had Shoshogi bond and just kind of laid it out just to break up the box in the sky look. We sealed up all the windows this weekend. Uh, added this cedar light that I got for five bucks. Uh, we're just gonna put a battery operated. Uh, they make a battery LED that will screw into a light socket. And my plan was to have a vine, maybe Carolina jessamine or something indigenous, uh, growing out of a pot to wrap over the top of this little arbor uh, poplar arch that we had in Shoshogi Bond at our treehouse workshop. So I made Fen a kitchen. Uh, this trip, and it's actually an old truck box that still seals up. Uh, it was kind of an idea I had. Just makes sense for a little camp spot. So uh does have a gasket. She's able to store her kitchen utensils, pots, pans, maybe a little cook stove. And my thoughts were to make some type of uh, canopy right here. Uh, she has some scrap metal, maybe two more posts and a little lean-to roof. Uh, really have a nice outdoor kitchen that 
isn't far to get from here to there when the weather is nasty. So here we go. Let's take a look inside. Of... So here we are. The Peregrine Nest 8x12 treehouse with 8x8 loft. What we did this weekend, sealed up all the windows, added the functional window here with the screen. Uh, it is frosted. There's a dust to dawn light across the street about a quarter mile away. So um, it allows some light in, also some privacy. This uh, I love this full side light right here. The tree right outside it. These are actually bifolds that I brought up and had and they made them so they fit in this wall. May use it as some type of shutter. I have two more. Maybe a folding shutter for this corner or a privacy screen for changing. And Fen had uh, salvaged and painted this little cart which is really cool. So right now it's just a little spot to sit and meditate. And then my super simple loft ladder, which we put together at the workshop. So all salvage windows, doors, a lot of the construction materials were salvage. The half inch sheeting CDX was half price because it was um, hurricane uh, preparedness overflow, whatever you want to call it from Lowe's. They had bought um, tons and tons of it when the last hurricane came through so people could board up and never needed it. So let's take a look at this loft. This thing's pretty awesome. Fen has it all set up. She's camped up here a couple times. So she has some bins with some of her stuff in there and then has a bedroll and sleeping bag set up. Plenty big up here. I love that view. And I'm just going to enjoy the stream right now because it's absolutely beautiful. Wow, what a spot. you can see the tub nice view of your significant other soaking you, know, you can also use those bifolds as a little screen if you did want some privacy I'm really happy with this I hope you dig it um, I know Fen does she's really excited and uh, this in crazy times like we're going through now this is uh, worth more than just about anything to somebody like me to have a place to get away just enjoy the beauty that is all around us. Listen to the sound of nature. And sit up here on a perch like this. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you'll come back and see what I got going on. I got some fun projects coming up. So this is Chris, the Capable Carpenter. I will see you soon.